Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to EV Nichols a Channel, accelerating the transition to the clean energy future, discovering a battery metals. We always have the pleasure to be jo uh, joined by Sean Sampson, uh, Chief Executive Officer. Welcome back, sir. Great, great to be back. Nice to see you again. Uh, you as well. So we've got lots of news to dive down into since we last spoke. I guess first and foremost, some of the most prevalent being that EV nickel phase two drilling results of that 48.6 meters grading 1.31% nickel from the W4. Do you want to expand on this? Tell us what this means and just anything you think is relevant here. It's great to finally have some results. So what we released last week and what, to which the market reacted quite well was uh, some met holes we were drilling. So that's into the phase, that's into the W4 deposit. So that's a uh, really good grade. And I think it woke people back up to the fact we've got great mineralization and there aren't many projects around in great jurisdictions like Timmins, Ontario, that are putting up grades um, as long an interval as we posted last week. So it was great to see some attention back on our company and on our project. And as part of phase two, we've got more results just around the corner. So phase two this year, we were doing those metallurgical holes in W4, but we've also been looking underneath W4. So the resource we currently have, the 15 million pounds of indicated at 1%, that goes down to about the 200 meter level. We've been looking 200 down to 500, so still relatively near surface. And uh, we're excited to get those results and we'll have that assays from that phase two drilling to the W4 extension beneath. We'll have that in the next two, three weeks. So that's phase two, fired up about that. And it just shows that the W4 is excellent mineralization. Uh, our resource was done at 1%. The met holes last week were even higher than that. And it's near surface. And it's the kind of grade that gets turned into a mine. So this should be a, hopefully a pivotal year from that uh, resource expansion. And I noticed that you also dropped uh, just some brief financials on that quarterly report. I mean, with little to no debt, you guys are sitting on over a couple million in cash. From a balance sheet perspective, you want to just offer a little clarity there as well? Yeah, so we're cashed up to do the work we're talking about. Uh, we're an exploration company, so it's not like we're done financing between now and producing nickel as a future miner. Uh, but we're sitting on a couple million dollars of cash as of today. And, uh, and we're focused on spending that in the ground. Now, uh, also you mentioned uh, that you guys are getting into permitting a mill here. Uh, do you wanna expand on the exact details behind that? Yeah, our news today is that we have, uh, we've reached agreement on terms with one of the companies, a private company that owns uh, a bunch of claims, uh, a bunch of patents up in the Shaw Dome. And on their patents, they have a, a mill permit. So that's the Carshaw Mill. So there's two permitted mills up on the Shaw Dome. One is the Redstone Mill, which continues to function as a toll milling operation. And then there's the Carshaw Mill, which hasn't operated for a number of years, but we think it gives us a bit of a head start on eventual permitting if we choose to get into the processing business. Now, of course, we're always talking about creating a nickel business, not just a company that's drilling holes in the ground. So we've got an eye towards the future and that's the sort of thing we're focused in on. So it's an interesting opportunity for us to pick up additional assets and it's in line with the things we're saying we're doing. So one of the main things we're saying we're doing is getting our hands on more land up in the Shaw Dome. And today's announcement is part of that. So it's exciting. It's right up in the Northeast of our land package, immediately adjacent to what our focus is gonna be for phase three, the next phase of our exploration, up at the large scale Carmen Langmuir or Car Lang deposit. That's our next target. And that's where we plan to be drilling in the next couple of weeks. Uh, great to hear, man. So on that note, I'm going to pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you guys think about uh, some of these pivotal movements happening at EV Nickel and consider subscribing because as that news continues to come down the wire, of course, we'll update you here. But on that note, stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one. Mm -hmm.